So earlier in our previous classes, means earlier classes, we saw uh, using Lubeck interface to form neighbor is best. Why? One reason is you may have uh, multiple paths to reach the neighbor. If any one path is available to reach the neighbor, your neighbor will be up. So instead of giving to a physical interface IP address, we give neighbor Lubeck interface. We form neighbor between Lubeck to Lubeck, where you, we used to say update source Lubeck zero command. Or to match with the source address. The source address of all the BGP packets should match with the neighbor's neighbor statement. For that, we used to say update source Lubeck zero. Uh, so that's one reason. What is that reason? Why do we use Lubeck? We, we got multiple paths. If one path goes down, we want the BGP to be up, so the other path will be used and BGP will be up if you form neighbor with Lubeck interface address instead of physical interface address. There is another reason why Lubeck interface should be used. <coughs> Lubeck interface, if you see, the address on the Lubeck interfaces are going to be used as the router ID by every protocol. A router is identified with what? Lubeck interface address by all protocols. OSPF picks the Lubeck interface address. EIGRP newer version picks the Lubeck interface address. BGP picks the Lubeck interface address. So Lubeck multicast MPLS picks the Lubeck interface address. All these, you know, they pick Lubeck interface address to identify a router. See, we identify a router with the name router A, router B, router C. But devices identify the other device with the help of router ID. So when you also use that same identification to form neighbor, it is very good. Very good for whom? Very good for all those advanced concepts that you're going to learn, like MPLS, VPN, and so on. Segment routing, MPLS VPN, traffic engineering. No? They all use the Lubeck interface. And when you use the same Lubeck interface to or interface address to form neighbor, it will be more uh, good. You know one thing? If you don't form neighbor using Lubeck interface, at least in IBGP. Don't worry about EBGP. EBGP is not that much needed. I'm talking about IBGP. Within the autonomous system, when you form neighbor, if you don't use Lubeck interface, you cannot have, you cannot have layer 3 VPN, MPLS VPN. So it's a basic requirement, you know, to go for... Um, VPN. We must form IBGP neighbor using Lubeck interface. So whenever you use the Lubeck interface to form neighbor, you will always use this command update source Lubeck zero. Don't forget. We earlier we saw a lab forming IBGP between two routers that are in means two routers using the Lubeck interface. Today we are going to do this. Two routers in two different autonomous system. We will configure the neighbor. We are we are okay with that. We don't have any confusion in this command. 
we understood why this command because we are sourcing with Lubeck. Now this is what new which we learned in the previous class. What it is. Because the EBGP neighbor network need to be seen as a directly connected network in the routing table. When I form neighbor using Lubeck, the neighborship will not will not come up won't come up. To overcome that limitation, we put this command neighbor neighbor address EBGP multi hop. We are saying between this EBGP relationship there is no need for direct connection. How it is said it is said indirectly. When you say EBG multi hop 2, the TTL of the packet becomes 2. The time to leave is 2. Which means you are telling the router, router, uh, the neighbor can be up to 2 hop away. Up to 2 hop away. What does that mean to the router? It means that he need not to be directly connected. So now BGP says, ah, I got it now. I understand what you mean. So let me try to send the packet. It, it tries to send the packet and form neighbor. If you don't put this command EBGP multi-hop, router will not even send one single TCP packet out. You know very well to form BGP neighbor, TCP three-way handshake is the first packet that is sent between the neighbors. Not even one TCP packet will go out if you don't mention EBG multi help too, because it will look for the neighbor's network to be directly connected. But in, when you put this command, it means that it need not to be directly connected. I may now send the packet out. I'm going to do, do, do and show, show, show this. Let's see. So these two are unmanaged switches. I, I'm just using to show you that there are two connections to the remote autonomous system. I'm not going to do any configuration on that switches. There are unmanaged switches. By default, they will allow all the traffic. The network that we would like to have here is, let's say, dual dot ten dot. 12.0/24 This is the network on this LAN. On the other LAN it is going to be 21. And we are going to have a loopback interface on R1. And a loopback interface on R2. Now I will like, I'll request any one of you to log in remotely. I'll request Morley G. Morley G, Morley G. Please log in using any desk. And let's do some hands on now. We'll put the IP addresses. Just the IP address, nothing more. And a static route to reach the loopback interface of the other remote route. Not, Not able to. Oh, sorry. Alright, so write two static routes. 
to reach from R2 to R1 and R1 to R2 is Lubeck. You need to write one more. No, there are two paths. Even if one path goes down, you should have reachability. So write two paths. Yeah, yeah. sorry. That's nice. Similarly, please go to router 1 and write two routes to reach to, 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 to from router 1. IP route. That's right. Okay. Right. Now I want you to verify pinging from Lubeck to Lubeck. Ping and trace route from Lubeck to Lubeck. Source. Check whether we have a uh, router 2 with Lubeck interface. Router 1 has got no problem. Check it on router 2. Show IP OSPF interface brief. Sorry, show IP interface brief. Hmm. So why are we not pinging? Ping without source, let's see. Wait, let me troubleshoot. This is not normal. The routing, the static route should be written for 1111 network. And router 2, you need to say to go to 111. It's, it's it's wrong. We are we are writing for our own network. That's not correct. Show IP route. Let's remove that one more. Do show run section IP route. Remove these things. We are writing route for a well-known connected routes. We should write for the unknown routes. Network 1111 is unknown. Likewise here, show run. We are writing route for our own directly connected network. Because the directly connected network administrative distance is zero and then this one is one, it is not picking what we are giving. It should not be called so it is directly connected. So please do it again. This is right. Yep, wonderful. So you can go via 12.1 as well as 21.1. Both the paths are available. Now I would request Girish to configure eBGP. Further, what I need to first do is uh, put the autonomous system number. And this will be AS20. This will be AS10.
Yeah. Gurish, you need to form neighbor using Lubeck. Yes, continue, please. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. It will never come. You know why? EBGB neighbors need to be seen as directly connected. Look at this routing table. Show IP route. Is 2222 said directly connected like this? No. 2222. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Yeah, that's what. Uh, now, it is not seen as directly connected, no? So, even though show IP BGB summary properly configured on either side yeah. with proper update source command. Mm -hmm. See? Show run section router BGP he is properly configured with the update source but the packet won't even go out of this device not even one packet will go and talk to router 1 router 2 will not send any packet to router 1 because router 1's root to reach 1.1.1.1 is not said to be like this it needs that word directly connected which is not there so no packets will go to router, router 1 you, you can go to router 1 and check debug ipbgp packets um, debug ipbgp all I have debug all nothing is coming nothing is giving this not this is not giving anything not taking anything okay. let me also debug another pack debug IP uh, TCP debug IP uh, simply packets I have enabled all IP related debugs. Nothing is coming. Router 2 is not sending any packet. Even Router 1 is not sending any packet because the neighbor to whom I need to talk, I cannot talk as per the policy. So to break the policy, yes, go ahead. Configure it. To break the policy, as you said, you need to do what? Uh, e EBGP e multi opt. Please do it. Default value or it can no, be no, no, changed it can as be per any one. number. By default, uh, the title will be one. You can give two, three, four, five, six also, but two is more than enough to tell BGP that the neighbor need not to be a directly connected. Okay. If you feel that, see now only the packets are going. Hmm? If you feel that the neighbors are too far away, then you need to increase the title according to the. Uh, usually we don't recommend uh, to have an EBGP neighbor far away, it should be immediate router. What happened? <coughs> okay. You have to do this on either side. Yeah, that's it. Now uh, you will see neighbor, see neighbor has come up immediately. Oh, thank you. So you have seen the packet started going only when you change the uh, TTL value. Only when you say BGP that it's okay, even though it is not directly connected, you may use the static root to talk. 
So the packet was, was going from 1111 to the um, Lubeck of the remote to form neighbor. Show IPBGB summary, you got the neighbor. Now, I want to Girish to advertise uh, a new network. Create a Lubeck interface on R1 11.11.11.11. Advertise it. On R1 11.11.11.11. Lubeck interface. Console is at the down. Okay, you are writing that fine. Um, likewise on router 2, 22, 22, 22. Advertise this and show pinging. Yep, you learn one prefix. Yeah, this is the prefix that you have learned. Very good. Likewise, what about the other side? mask wonderful now we should be learning this 22 on router 1's routing table and likewise 11 on router 2's routing table show IP route BGP you see 22 with administrative distance of 20 because EBGP is 20 administrative distance we see here likewise on router 2 I should see 11 11 11 11 11 with 20 yeah right in the BGP table show IP BGP go ahead go ahead ping okay show IP BGP we we see the enter we see this 11 network is learned from autonomous system 10 and it is valid and best only those routes that are valid and best will be seen in the routing table it should be both the asterisk and the greater than symbol and what you see here is 22 is locally advertised the next stop is 000 for locally advertised the weightage will be given dynamically a high weightage 232768 so when i ping now 11 11 11 sorry Grish, go ahead Ping please from here. 11, 11, 11, 11. It's source of 22, 22, 22.
Yeah, this ping is going. Now I'm going to repeat this for 10,000 times. As the ping is going on, I'm going to delete this switch. Boom. Now let's see. I got a packet loss, but my neighbor should, should be there, BGP neighbor. So I'm expecting an auto recovery. The routes are still there. The problem is the ARP. The MAC address got changed. Show IP. Show IP BGP summary. The neighbors are still there. Uh, it's because of the ARP and it's a simulated environment. Previously it was going to a different MAC address. Yeah. yeah. Now it needs to go to another MAC address. So, see, this is the this is not a physical device. In a, in a physical device, as soon as you get the wire disconnected, it will know that it needs to find another ARP. But because it's logical interface, still it is seen as up only. The interface is still up in the... Okay, so, in the real world, it will have immediate swap. It won't take this long. Almost immediate. Okay. Yeah, so no problem. But I was expecting that it didn't happen. But in the real devices, it will happen. It will immediately swap to another path by one or few packets. You know, it will lose. In the real world, one or two packets will be lost uh, due to the ARP request and reply to the new gateway. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it's okay. Fine. But the BGP did not go down, you see. BGP did not go down. The packet has gone down because of BGP was up. The session was up. That's the beauty of using Lubeck interface. Hope you like this today's uh, hands-on lab. We'll see with new concepts called peer group in the next class. Peer group. That's what we need to focus. Peer group. See you tomorrow. Take care. Tomorrow, tomorrow will be. Uh,